Rapids, Michigan was the first city in the world to add fluoride to its water supply. That was back in 1945. Detroit is one of many American cities that do it today to benefit people's dental health. CDC data shows more than 60% of the U.S. population receives fluoridated water in their drinking supply. There's been a lot of talk lately about this due to U.S. Health Secretary Robert F. Kennedy's campaign against fluoridation and two states, Utah and Florida, banning the process altogether. Now some excerpts for adding fluoride are weighing in in the city whose water is considered the gold standard in America. Sometimes referred to as the champagne of drinking water, New York City's water supply is carefully monitored by the Department of Environmental Protection. Our job is to make sure that we are adding the precise amount of fluoride within a very narrow band. Too little and it doesn't do its job, too much and it could be harmful. The city's acting commissioner of health says the addition of fluoride is important for the health of New Yorkers and opposes its removal. I'd be concerned about kids who live in families where getting into preventative care is very challenging and there are tremendous barriers to care, unfortunately, in New York City. The CDC's recommended fluoride concentration is 0.7 milligrams per liter of water, which is about equal to three drops of water in a 55-gallon barrel. Health and Human Services Secretary Robert F. Kennedy Jr. is advising to remove it altogether. HHS and the EPA are reviewing a report from the National Toxicology Program linking high levels of fluoride, more than double the recommended amount, to lower IQ in children. But there was insufficient data to determine the impact of lower levels. Dr. Vicki Evangelidis Sackelson with the Columbia University Dental College agrees with many in the field that fluoride in water is safe and effective. It is a complex problem and they should give money and funding to do the studies. So when we talk, uh, we talk based on data and we don't talk based on feelings. The Detroit Water and Sewerage Department says the average fluoride level in the city water is around 0.6 milligrams per liter, slightly below the CDC's recommendations of 0.7. The Michigan Department of Health and Eagle also issued a joint statement earlier this year saying this, quote, they continue to support the practice of fluoridating public drinking water for the purpose of promoting oral health. It goes on to say, quote, no adverse health effects have been associated with consuming water fluoridated at levels currently recommended. And fluoridation benefits everyone in the community, including seniors, adults and children.